come in from offshore. Sure. As part of that, um, Alina and Ken's team see the people that are coming from offshore, so they can have anything from gastro issues to just general um, health and, and well-being issues. So but it's generally out of hours. So what they do is they increase the level of duty and care and well-being for these people in the offshore environment by getting them seen by the right people at the right time when they come in from offshore. So their specialism improves the duty of care that we give to them. Yeah, so generally we'll have someone who might have an abnormal ECG or have some kind of um, abdominal pain um, or some kind of irregular bleeding. It doesn't quite require a &E, but we think that they need some kind of intervention. So, for example, as someone with um, some kind of bleeding from um, their abdominal uh, cavity, we would send them up and Ken could do the initial assessment, he can do the, the initial endoscopy, they can, they can scan, they can, they can send bloods away. So we're basically fast-tracking the level of care that we give people into the offshore environment and it's obviously lots of these people aren't local, so it gives them a level of care and out of hours they have antibiotics, pain relief, so they can manage the whole process end-to-end -end really quickly without them sitting in A&E for seven or eight hours on a Friday night. So it makes a big difference between them being treated and getting back to work and re reducing that whole treatment path. So that's the whole point of using a service like this. There isn't anything else like it in Aberdeen. And it obviously, you know, I can have long waits because you're not seen as critical enough to be fast-tracked through a &E. So the team that is here can fast-track all that. And they can also do referrals and things as well. And they, they'll pick things up that a standard GP wouldn't pick up straight away. So rather than putting them into GPs or occupational health doctors, the team here are so specialised in surgical and intervention that it means that it's just a far better way to process these people. So they, they can be in a helicopter up for up to three or four hours coming in from an offshore asset. So they get to Aberdeen, they, as soon as they get to the, the, the heliport, they're met by um, one of the company representatives that are here. And with the team that's here and, and the facilities that they have, they can be in, seen and out within an hour and a half, which is just unheard of. We've been doing it for about um, eight or nine months now. It's quite new, um, it's, so it's still quite um, new to industry. So they're all kind of like, wow, we didn't know that existed. We didn't know we could do that. So it's, it's had a lot of interest um, from very senior people. Um, and it's, the industry are, are ex accepting it really, really well. Um, we weren't sure how they would, um, but they're seeing this fast track of my person came in, they were broken, they went to see this person, they met a proper doctor <laughs> in scrubs, they had a surgical unit, they dealt with it, they you know, they gave them everything they needed and they sent them on their way. And when they need follow-up treatment as well, of course the clinic has the capability to do that. So if someone needs a straightforward hernia or they need, um, say they have an infection, they need it lanced and drained, the guys can do that, um, can we'll drain something, excuse me, <clears throat> drain something on, on that night and then they'll say come back the next day and we'll, we'll dress it and make sure everything's okay. So the whole follow-up care can be there as well. Uh, because of the nature of the clinic, most of these guys have private health care, so they can handle everything end to end.